whale of a tale to tell you lads A whale of a tale or two About the flapping fish and the girls I've loved On nights like this with the moon above A whale of a tale and it's all true I swear by my tattoo Okay, now before I begin It is 104 degrees One, I need you guys to go and click that subscribe button Along with that bell button So you guys can know when I'm coming out with the next video And two, the things that I state in this video Are based off of the instruction that is currently active in the navy so it may or may not be subjective to change and it does not apply to all branches so with that being said let's begin all right i'm done <laughs> you guys want whoa, whoa, whoa. so you guys wanted me to post up a video about tattoos in the military it was a really close call because like the four more misconceptions was right there so for the sake of those people next weekend i will be posting up four more misconceptions in battleship rihanna has like four different jobs that she's doing in the movie it is really funny and so bad every branch is its own branch the last one got great reviews great feedback so you know what? i'm going to share another one with you guys back to the tattoos in the navy unlike most branches we have more leniency in the navy with tattoos than any other branch so yes you can have tattoos in the navy and yes i have tattoos i have about i don't know how many tattoos i have because i'm getting more mm. for those of you you better focus. For those of you who don't know, obviously I got this information from NPC, which is Navy Personal Command. On here gives a list of all the grooming standards that are currently in the Navy. Tattoos, bodies, arts, and brands. So four criteria will be determined whether tattoos, arts, and brands are permitted for Navy personnel. Content, location, size, and cosmetic failure to comply and establish criteria as a violation of uniform policy and subjected to military action to include involuntarily separation. Content states, tattoo, body, arts, brands located anywhere on the body that are prejudicial to good order, discipline, and morale are or are of a nature to bring discredit upon the naval service are prohibited for example tattoo body arts brands that are obscene sexually explicit and or advocate discrimination based on sex race religion ethnic sexual orientation or national origin are prohibited in addition tattoo body arts brands that symbolize affiliation with gangs supremacists or extremist groups or advocate illegal drug use are prohibited aka don't walk around with it's that extremist like stuff okay like a kkk tattoo or certain tattoos of that nature i'm not trying to point out specifically just that group that's the only one i could think of at the top of my head you can't have things that are very like disrespectful and military is very diverse like i stated in my other video like everybody can have opinion about somebody else but obviously to display it is a different situation you're supposed to be representing what the navy stands for and having an extremist group as a tattoo on you can actually be a bad thing location no tattoos body art brands on the head face to include ear and scalp one tattoo is authorized on the neck and should not exceed one inch in measurement in any direction tattoo body art brands meeting these requirements are acceptable by the ear permissible tattoo art brands are on the torso of the body shall not be visible through a white uniform clothing Unless it's actually just displayed on like your forearm, you really can't see a lot of people's tattoos and stuff like that, no matter how dark it is. But like it said, you are allowed a tattoo on your neck. It's supposed to be one inch by one inch. There's one on your neck, but that is all that you are allowed. Meeting these requirements are acceptable behind the ear. So behind the ear is actually, you know, kind of hidden, which is a good thing. So the next one is size. The size restriction for any visible tattoos is limited to the area of the neck behind the ear only. As a result of this change, leg and arms tattoos can be of any size tattoo body tattoos body art brands on the neck or behind the ear will not exceed one inch in measurement in any dimension cosmetic tattoo is authorized to correct medical conditions requiring such treatment for the purpose of this regulation cosmetic tattoos refer to medical or surgical procedures conducted by licensed qualified medical personnel i actually had someone ask me about this before i know some people want to get like uh their eyebrows tattooed you are allowed you just have to get permission for it all right so now that we actually got the instruction out of the way we're going to talk about the navy traditional tattoo please comment below if i say something incorrectly just so i can know for the future there are navy traditional tattoos which i think are pretty awesome and i'm only going to be able to name a few because there's a lot there's one 
one for the rooster and one for the pig now once upon a time ago uh, when a ship sank they were able to actually survive navy wrecks people would get those tattooed on their feet because it was to help them survive in the sea another traditional navy tattoo is the sparrow the sparrow signifies a number of miles that you traveled on the sea i know a lot of people get the traditional like just sailor style tattoos that are like a very pinup like i do want to get a pinup tattoo i just don't know where that was the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you hit that like comment and subscribe button and if you guys have any questions about navy tattoos hit me up on my social media just in case you guys don't want to comment below see you guys later we love it and it's all true i swear by my tattoo